So now we're going to look at our back office settings. So for that, we obviously need to be in our back office. Uh, so log into your back office and come down to settings. So a lot of these we've already changed throughout the tutorial as we've gone along. Um, and, but we're just going to double check that everything has been saved correctly. So we've got our site title and our tagline is correct. As well as we're pushing out HTTPS secured content. Admin email is fine. Anyone can register. Um, as you start adding other features, like if you wanted to add a shop, for example, you can actually set up default role as customer. We actually have a few other training exercises where you can actually build your own e-store. So um, if you if you want to know a little bit more about that, head over to our courses. Uh, check your time zones are correct, as well as your language. So we're in the UK. Let's select English UK hit save changes then we're going to look at writing so writing's pretty straightforward we don't need to do anything there let's have a look at reading so reading we need to set up a, a static home page now if you've been following through a, each of the topics you'll have seen actually how to set up your own page uh, but i haven't done that yet so i'll show you quickly how to do one now so click pages add new and we're going to name this one home. Also, because we've installed Ocean WP Extra, uh, we can actually change how our web page looks. So I'm going to quickly show you now. So for the case of this, I'm just going to put home, click publish. And we're going to view the front end. So as I, as I mentioned earlier in one of the videos, the advantages of this theme is that it actually gives you the most minimal page that you can possibly go for, which initially doesn't look great, but once you start learning how to build and put elements on your page, it really starts to work for you. So this is quite a blank page, but we can actually remove even more. So we're going to remove this entire section here, this gray bar, which is called our title. And we're also going to move this side section here. So to do that, we go back into our page editor, content layout, here you can either click full width or 100% full width. Depending on what you want to go for, you can toggle between the two. Um, but for now, we're going to select 100% full width. Go to title and disable. So now when we click update, let's see how it looks on the front end. And as you can see now, we have removed almost everything, which is what we're looking for. So all we have left on this page is a top bar. Uh, the header here where our menu will go, a footer, and then our footer bottom. So now head back into our back office. And we're going to go back to reading. And now we're going to select a static page. And here we're going to allocate home as our home page. The rest is OK. We can click Save Changes. Head down to Discussions. So I'm going to quickly skim through this. Just tick whichever box I tick and untick whichever box I untick. So here we, we, I'm actually going to disallow people to submit comments. What you end up finding is that you, you actually end up with a larger amount of bots trying to comment on your page um, and they can comment some inappropriate things. So I just disallow that. Um, you know, if you're building a store, for an example, um, you can opt that back in later so that you can give reviews for your customers. So we want the user to be registered. Again, it just prevents bots from um, posting things that they shouldn't be. Uh, also, just to give you a secondary backup in case the first tick box here disallowing people fails um, that all your comments should be manually approved first so even if somehow they do manage to leave a comment you actually have to approve it first before it goes live on your site um, and that again is another good way of safeguarding a lot of these settings are actually really for um, blogs whereas we are actually building a fully functional website so we don't need a lot of them so let's click save changes Media, we don't need to do anything. Uh, this just changes how it saves our images. And permalinks, we want to come over and click post name, which is fine. Uh, so we don't need to change anything there. 
click save changes and our privacy policy should be automatically set up on our privacy policy page now this is just a basic privacy policy so obviously it might not so obviously it might not 100% apply to you or it might not cover you properly so um, I do recommend looking online for some privacy for some privacy policies that you can kind of adapt to make your own um, obviously in the UK we have uh, a lot of GDPR compliance that we have to also follow um, so just make sure in your specific region that you're following the correct procedures so that is how we set up our back office